Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 106. Inside this video, we will see the concept of generate barcodes in Laravel. So simply, we are going to discuss all about a composer package. By the help of that composer package, we will install the functionality of generating barcodes in a Laravel application. So before going into the deep into the deep of this video, first of all we need to understand that what is a barcode. So simply a barcode is a code or we can say that it is a representational state of any data into a machine readable format. So on the same topic we have an article on this blogging website. So simply if I go to the browser, click on articles, Laravel 8 click on this search icon and if I simply type barcode pressing enter scroll down and here as we can see that we have an article over the topic called barcode generator in Laravel 8. So if I click on this article inside this article you will find all about the complete concept of using this composer package and this article is totally from scratch it means from installation up to application testing. So for this video, also we will start from scratch, it means we will do an installation. Inside that installation setup, we will install the composer package and all the things we will see from scratch. So if I scroll down, inside this installation section, as we can see here we have a composer command. So what I will do, simply I will copy this command back to my folder structure. So currently I am inside this Laravel, open this folder into terminal zoom in and simply I am pasting this command and let's say that the application setting the name is something Laravel hyphen barcode this is the project folder name now if I press enter it will install or create a project so we need to wait for a while now successfully as we can see that project has been installed so what I will do simply back to folder structure search for Laravel barcode and here is the folder I will open this folder into VS Code Editor. Now successfully I have imported our install project folder into VS Code. Now in the next step what we have to do back to article. So all the installation we did. Next we need to, we need to install a composer package that is for the barcode generator. So here is the command. If I copy this command go to terminal first of all we need to go inside our project folder and the project folder name is something level hyphen barcode and inside this project folder now we are going to install this composer package so simply paste that command pressing enter and as we can see that the package has been now installed so back to article scroll down next we need to configure our barcode generator package with the application so for that we need to open app.php file so simply app.php file we will find inside this config folder and here is the file so inside this file we will find two arrays like for the providers and aliases so we need to add few lines inside first line inside this providers array and the second line inside this aliases actually those lines are the configuration of our barcode generator package for this application so what we will do simply back to our article and here is the line so copy this line and we need to copy and paste this line inside this providers array so back to editor go inside this providers array and simply I will paste that line at the footer of this array. If I back to article, here we have two different lines. So I will copy all these lines and these lines we have to copy inside this aliases array. So back to editor, go inside this aliases array, go at the footer and at the footer we will add these two lines. So successfully now we have done the configuration of barcode generator with this like Laravel application. Now next we need to create our basic files like a route, a controller and a view file. So if I back to article, 
Next way to create a route. So as we know that routes will be configured inside web.php and the web.php file we will find inside this routes folder. So here is the route means this is the route we need to add. So before adding route we need to create our controller. So here we have a section of creating controller and the command is given. Simply when we run this artisan command it will create a barcode controller. So back to terminal clear this console first. I am pasting this command called php artisan make controller and barcode controller. So if I press enter back to our editor reload this directory structure go inside this app http controllers and here we can see a barcode can controller has been generated. So back to article. So next let's say that we are going to configure our route. So go inside this application routes folder wave.php. So first of all what I will do we need to import our barcode controller. So go to app http barcode controllers and also inside this barcode controller we will add methods. So go to wave.php. First of all let's import our barcode controller. So use barcode controller. Next we need to create a route. So we will use the get request type means get method and if I write the route name as barcode making an array inside this array let's say barcode controller it's a class and inside this barcode controller class we will create a method let's define the method and also inside this article the method has been defined and something called index inside this index method simply we are returning a view file so if I copy this method go here inside this controller and pasting it here so now inside this web.php the method we are calling for this route as index method now next we need to create this blade template file so simply go inside this resources folder views folder let's create a file something with the name of barcode dot bleed dot php and for the template code also we have the code inside this article so create bleed template file here we have the file name and here is the complete code so if i will copy the complete code from this go and paste it here and finally we have completed each of the section, each of the module for this barcode generator. So what I will do, go here and simply type php artisan serve means we are going to start our development server pressing enter. Let's open into the browser and this is our landing page. So I will type the route what we have created as barcode simply pressing enter and as we can see that here we have some barcode. As we had discussed earlier that barcode is a code representational which is machine readable. It means this is not actually the unnecessary or let's say the dummy barcodes. Here we have stored some information inside this. What is the information? Actually we have used a method called get barcode html. Inside this method simply at the first value we have to pass the string value or simply let's say the value that value actually we need to convert into barcode code and this is barcode format type. So instead of this dummy value if I change something with this new value again I am to change this value let's say that this is the value actually we need to convert into barcode. So simply after converting that if I go and open into a duplicate tab reload this page and as we can see that the information what we are getting at the first is different from here because we have changed the value. If I back to editor go inside this app.php remember while configuration of barcode generator with the application here we have created called dns1d and dns2d. So by the help of these key value pairs what we have done inside this aliases actually we have used right here inside this bleed template file. 
look at this class is called DNS1D and as we know that this is an alias name for this class if you go here DNS1D and this is the alias of this class and this is the class actually coming from facades it means from this composer package and we have called a method called git barcode html which is accepting some value like a string like the value which we have to convert into a barcode and this is barcode format type so after passing this value now it is converting a machine readable format so simply if you go into the definition of barcode so simply if i back to this article again go at the top a barcode or barcode is a method of representing data in a visual that is a machine readable form so finally guys by the help of this article and video session now we have the clear concept of converting a barcode from a value simply let's say we have a e-commerce website inside that e-commerce website we are doing multiple product entries and simply by combining the values let's say product id product amount product other something value by concatenating all these values simply we can convert a barcode of that product so after generating these barcodes when we use the barcode scanner then barcode scanner automatically scans this value and get the exact value what we have stored behind the scene inside this barcode so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day